Welcome to the Vibrant Stories series from the East Ayrshire Vibrant Communities Communities team. Welcome to your Mills and Green Home and your Mills Regeneration Association. Your Mills came into existence in 1490 and is well known for its history and its lace. At its peak, your Mills had over 10 lace mills. It now has the last two mills in the Irvine Valley. Their massive looms produce their beautiful lace you see in the theatres and our television screens. The borough of your Mills and Greenhome is situated at the narrowest part of the Irvine Valley. The river Irvine flows through the middle of our town. Your Mills has an affiliation to Rabbi Burns and Murdoch Nisbet, who 500 years ago this year converted the New Testament into Scots. Our history is unique for a small town and still being explored. Working with vibrant communities, the people of the town have set out their priorities for improving New Mills and Green Home. The five-year Community Action Plan was produced from these priorities. The New Mills Regeneration Association was set up to take the plan forward. We are currently working with the residents, businesses and groups within the town to define the priorities for the next five years. Theme 1 – Community Facilities and Activities Theme 2 – Appearance and Environmental Improvements Theme 3 – Local Economy, Heritage and Tourism Theme 4 – Housing and Antisocial Behaviour Theme 5 – Roads, Traffic and Transport As part of the New Mills Community Action Plan Under the strategy of the Appearance and Environmental Programme it was decided we want to enhance the appearance of the town. A group of us who were keen gardeners thought we would like to bring some colour into the town with flower displays. It was decided that we would apply for a grant for planters, benches and litter bins. We had a walk round the town for suitable locations where we thought the street furniture would be best placed. After approximately two years we were successful in obtaining a grant and approval of the location of the street furniture. David Ogilvy Engineering in Kilmarnock was commissioned to make the bold red furniture with the Love New Mills logo. Last year it was agreed that the council would take over the planting of the planters as long as we took over the planting of the three beds in the Kirkgate Garden. This year, due to COVID-19, the council purchased the plants and the trustees were asked to plant up the planters and other beds in the town. New Mills is a unique town a gem in the Irvine Valley. It contains 36 listed buildings or structures. Many of these are VB listed and all on the Historic Environment Scotland website. Many of the buildings were restored some 20 plus years ago under the Mills Townscape Heritage Initiative. Many were not so fortunate, unfortunately, when the money ran out and these now require to be looked at. The Mills Regeneration Association intend to appoint a development officer in 2021 to prepare documents for a conservation area regeneration scheme and we will make a bid when the next round is announced by Historic Environment Scotland. We are hopeful that property owners will take advantage of the grants that are available under such schemes. We are Proud to have been the first town in Scotland to have a placemaking plan approved by East Ayrshire Council and the Scottish Government. And this plan will help us in our goal of achieving restoration of many important buildings in the town and also make the mills a better and more desirable place to live. One of the first activities identified as a priority in the Community Action Plan was a litter pick. The community identified areas throughout the town to concentrate on. The group now organises the litter pick each year with the help of volunteers from local schools, churches, groups and the community. East Ayrshire Cleansing Department helped with the equipment and uplifting the bags of rush. As a group, 
We also worked hard to obtain funding to provide more litter bins at key sites around the town. And now for something completely different. Yeah, we're going to talk about the transformation of the old post office into the group's chat hub. And chat stands for Community, Heritage and Tourism. Do you remember all the things we had to do at that time? Yes, it had to be gutted. The stonework had to be sandblasted. Uh, Rewiring and, and new plumbing. Don't forget John and his lighting rig. All the woodwork we did. And all that decorating. And then at the end, the new floor. There were a lot of people involved. John and his gang. The professionals. LVT who purchased it. Yeah, us of course. Saxon. And Lanfina State. And now it's furnished. It looks fabulous. Yes, it's the Group HQ. It's available for others to use. And for meetings and talks. One of the priorities that came from the Community Action Plan was for New Mills to hold more events. So in 2016, we held the first food festival. And in 2018, we merged this into holding the whole weekend, the New Mills Festival Weekend, which attracted over 3,500 people. To put on the event, we hired in a large marquee, which we put up on Jameson Park. Working with Lads Academy, we held a cookery competition for the secondary school pupils, baking Victoria sponge, lemon meringue pies and scones. For the primary school pupils, we held a painting competition, which we used to decorate the marquee. Each year, we have run free buses throughout the valley, as well as a park and ride. The festival includes cookery demonstrations, and we have welcomed celebrity chefs Gary McLean and Tony Singh over the last two years as well as local Ayrshire chefs. We've welcomed over 100 producers to the festival. We also had a large food court where people can meet up with friends and family and enjoy the food and drink on offer. None of this would be possible without the support of the people of New Mills, local businesses and all of our volunteers. At the Scottish Outdoor Leisure Award in 2018, the New Mills Food Festival was awarded Best Outdoor Festival. And in 2019, the New Mills Festival Weekend was awarded the best newcomer. We are delighted as a group to organise the New Mills Easter Egg Treasure Hunt. We team up with the New Mills Bowling Club as hosts, and this event is marvelous with the help of the local scout group and the Easter Bunny. The community provide home baking for an Easter picnic with each child receiving free eggs. In 2020, 100 local children received Easter goodie bags at the end of June when it was safe to deliver them. As a group, we are responsible for putting up the Christmas lights and the Christmas tree at the Kirkgate Gardens and our main objective is to improve on this year by year. Our volunteers donate their time and our tree is kindly provided by Lanfina State. Each year, we run a Christmas event for the community. This includes grand raffles, live music, Christmas stalls, free gifts for the children and we also invite our local school choirs to perform on the day. In 2018 we had the pleasure of being nominated and the recipients of the Queen's Award for Volunteering. The award was presented at Lanfine House by the Lord Lieutenant of Ayrshire and Arran, Sheriff Iona MacDonald. This unique award is an amazing honour for the people of the Mills who continue to work hard with our fellow groups, businesses and community. Our excellent working relationships with East Ayrshire Council and vibrant communities will continue while we try to preserve and regenerate our town of the Mills and Greenhall. You can find out more information about vibrant communities and the work of the communities team at the following links.